It's time to get better at playing the snare drum. I'm gonna give you one exercise, two tips, we're gonna practice together, and I'm gonna tell you three things you need to do to get better at any skill. We're gonna use the practice pad, because if it doesn't sound good on the practice pad, there's no way it's gonna sound good on the snare drum. Two, three, and. Everything has a foundation, including skill building. And there are three components to building a skill that I've come to notice over time to build competency at what I do and anything I approach. First, it's time. If I'm gonna go into the gym and I'm going to spend five minutes there, then I can promise you I'm gonna make very, very little progress. And that's the same thing for learning anything in any skill. There are connections that need to happen in the body and things that need to happen in the brain in terms of awareness and growing and understanding of what you're training the body to do. Think of your body like a, like a monkey and you want it to do something very, very specific. Naturally, it is not built to do that especially when in terms of skills, you wanna become highly dialed in in what you're trying to learn and comprehend and be able to execute well. This takes repetition of the body and the muscles and the connections to your brain. And when your brain sees it, it notices a pattern and it wants to know how to do it well. Next, you're gonna need energy. You're gonna to need to put actual focused energy into what you're doing. If you go into the gym and you spend an hour, I'm using gym obviously because, you know, it never hurts to get some exercise in. If I spend an hour in the gym, but I'm barely walking, I put a very light weight on, I'm just like, ah. Okay, that's one. I'm on my phone for a little bit. How much progress do you think I'm gonna make? Very, very little, if any at all. The body needs something to challenge itself. It needs you to push yourself outside of your comfort zone. And that is where energy is needed. Because if you hit a point and that's the furthest you're comfortable, your energy, and your motivation and your desire, your drive is going to push you out of that comfort zone into that uncomfortable realm of playing and music and sound and movement. And if you don't have the mental stability and your body is in a good place with its energy, aka what you put into your body is what's going to come out of your body. You are pitting in bad energy if you are not going outside, if you are not drinking water enough, it's going to come back to haunt you. I can't tell you how much I do for my body is directly correlated to how well I want to teach and how well I want to play. That is the that is it. And if you're not ready for that point, then good luck building any type of skill. You know what, I'm gonna save the third component for later because um, we need to get better at playing the snare drum. One thing that is important that I'm always coming back to time and time again is letting the stick rebound, filling out the space. And so the idea is if we're playing eighth notes, right hand, or even back and forth, notice how I'm relaxed moving from my wrists and I'm coming back up. If I get faster, watch where my stick ends up. Notice that my stick is not ending down. If I get faster, I need to teach my body to understand the space and what it's asking for. I can get away with ending down. These are called downstrokes but I'm still coming back up, relaxed into the space that I started. As I get faster, I'm letting the bounce help dictate how I move in the space. 
let the stick bounce. All right, and the third component needed to build any skill is clarity. It's through watching stuff like this, gaining knowledge so that when you have the time, when you have the energy, you know exactly how to approach it. You have a path from point A to point B to point C and so on. You can gain knowledge in so many ways. You can ask a more experienced musician than you. You can look up YouTube videos. You can watch performances. You can get an instructor. I'm creating tons of things in the toolbox for you <laughs> to gain clarity. That's the only reason I exist right now. That's the only reason you're watching this. And with time, energy, and clarity, you are gonna be unstoppable. Tip number two, as you get louder, do not get faster. For example, if I have this metronome going, if I play soft, this is as far as my stick travels. It feels very different in space. As I get higher, my stick needs to move faster. I need to throw it faster. As I get softer, there's a different speed, different velocity in my stick. Even if I go back and forth, because I'm traveling from a higher point, I need to throw it faster. But it's very easy to speed up when we crescendo, when we get louder, when our stick height gets farther from the surface, and it's easy to slow down when it comes down to the surface. Be careful not to do these things. Why stop there? It's time to get better at something else.